Hey guys, it's Becky with Design Bundles and today I am super excited to bring to you a paper crafting project. Now this project is one that you probably won't recognize by name, but we are going to call it a waterfall card, okay? But I think you're really going to like it. It's really, really neat to make for yourself and it makes the cutest little memory gifts that you've ever seen. So let's go ahead and jump over. We are going to do this in Cricut Design Space, but just remember that all the principles are still there to be able to do this in other uh, design softwares and other cutting machines. So. Let's go ahead and jump over and get started. Okay, so I imported this SVG and it came in a little bit smaller than I expected, but if I go ahead and make it a little larger, you can see that each piece has measurements on it. So um, what I'm going to do in a case like this, I'm gonna ungroup, and sometimes your processes will take a little while uh, because you have all these individual pieces, but if I ungroup them, so I'm going to ungroup them again because I think usually these measurements are going to be for that specific piece, not including the text. Okay, so for example, let's try this out. So this says 6.573 inches wide. 6.573. Does that give me 9.96? Well, it gives me 9.961, so that is really, really close. So I'm going to keep inputting these measurements, 6.323, and that was 9.710, and 7.956 by 10. And this one is 9.148 and 9.678. So um, once I get all of those sized, I can delete these. I don't need those anymore. And I can also um, ungroup these or attach these or weld these if I need to. So once I click over to make it, you can see it's divided up into different pages. Now all of my cardstock is letter size, so I need to update all of my material sizes to be letter. Looks like once I do it for one color, then it will update both. Okay, good, it does. So um, what I can do is go through and get all of this situated, make sure everything looks the way that's supposed to look. And um, let me see, I actually think, I'm going out on a limb here, I think I can move this one to here. Let's see. Yes, we have room down at the bottom of this one. So, um, you know, don't be afraid to take a look and make sure that you're conserving uh, because I basically saved a whole extra sheet of um, cardstock for no reason. So um, just make sure you're watching out for that. But it does take care of all the nesting. So I have, um, you know, all the pieces here and here for white and all the pieces here and here for pink. So before I forget, I want to go ahead and insert some images. Um, and the reason I want to do that, so these white pieces are the inside uh, portion of my cards. And you guys will see this in a minute. But basically that means that this is just a placeholder. The white is a placeholder. Now, I can easily cut the white or fill it with a pattern and use that to write inspirational messages or something along those lines. But my idea for this book is it is a girls want to have fun book. So... I have went out and imported some images I feel that um, are just fun pictures. So I'm going to ungroup those individual squares and I'm also going to change it from cut to score and um, that way they will be easier to see. They're um, transparent that way so I can line up my pictures and do some slicing. I also want to make sure that I, um, it's okay if I move the shapes, but I don't want to resize them by mistake, okay? So I'm just going to position them, and then I will select those both and do slice. And then I can take out these extra pieces. 
There we go. So that's one down and I'll just take care of the other five and then I'm going to add a little bit of text to the front of my card. Okay, so now that I have my um, little introduction card and the pictures that I want to use, I will go ahead and jump over and do the print and cut and cutting out of regular cardstock. So let's reconvene at our Cricut and we will talk about assembly. Okay, so we are finished cutting. We have all of our pink pieces. This is our white card base. These are our print and cut pieces. And then I have this double-sided tape, and that's what I'm going to use. Now, obviously this is not like a long-term project. I mean, if it lasts forever, that's cool. If it doesn't, um, you know, I'm okay with that. But if you're wanting to, you know, make this um, something that you're going to keep for a long time or even give as a gift, then you're probably going to want to research and get, you know, this is just regular cardstock, nothing special about it, print and cut, you know, this is, uh, in terms of cardstock, this is pretty flimsy. So I'm just saying I don't want to mislead you um, on this project because I know that a lot of paper crafters are very particular about the materials that they use. Um, so card base, print and cut. Now let's talk about some of these pieces. Now these are the uh, mats, the borders for our photos. So we have five of them. And this is our little T piece uh, that you saw on the software. This is actually going to work as the waterfall uh, pulley. And then this, I'm actually going to call this an optional piece and you'll understand why when we get to it. Um, this actually has caused a little bit of heartache for me um, in the application and other waterfall cards that I've seen did not um, employ this. So we'll take a look at that. But first, let's start. Let's go ahead and apply the photos to the bases here. Okay, so let's talk about how to make this guy. Uh, first things first, you see it has a lot of score lines. We are going to fold all of those. 
Now this part folds, okay, this is where these score lines are on this side. So these are gonna fold backwards. So then this, you will actually fold both ways. You want those to be ultra flexible. Okay, and you can do those accordion style if you want and then do them the other way. Whatever works best for you. You just want them to be ultra movable because this is the part that's going to act as the waterfall. Okay, so this is actually gonna fold and these will wrap around it. So the part with the tab is gonna be the back and these is like, it's giving him a hug, okay? So we're not going to tape this together. What we're going to do is we're going to apply tape on our little accordion. Now some people also use glue sticks. I'm sure that that is much quicker. Um, I don't usually have the patience for glue to dry. So that's why I'm a big fan of the double-sided tape. You can, um, I also think that glue pens work really well. So you can pick what works best for you. But for this project, I'm a real big fan of the quick drying. So we're going with the tape. So I am applying tape in between each of these score lines. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, because we have five score lines, four in between. And this one, just below that last score line, and let's see how far down. Yes, all the way down at the bottom down here. So remove the backing. Okay, so I am gonna start, let me see, I'm gonna put my pictures in order. I will put this one on the bottom and just try to get them as centered as you can. And then I will work my way up and I'm putting each one, I'm going to align them and I'm putting each one on its own fold line. So can you see that? See those fold lines? And basically each one is getting its own fold line. When you get done with that, you can take them off and put them on the right way. <laughs> okay, there we go. That is what I wanted. Okay, and just so you get the idea, you see how they flip? All right, so we're gonna fold that around we're gonna do the hug, right? That's what we said. That's my official term for it. I'm gonna apply a little bit of tape here. Okay, so I wanna glue those together, just give them some security. And then I will put glue, or rather tape, all the way across. And then I can also fold this up. That's meant to be folded up. Okay, all right. So let's open this up. What I want to do is I'm going to peel the tape off, and that's why this part is considered optional. I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm going to align this in the middle and stick it down. Now once that glue dries, this piece is secured down here. That's where that piece was. And you can see we can just pull and push, pull and push, pull and push. All right, super great. The problem that I have with that is it's not secured on that part. And you can't glue this part down because then it's gonna stop your waterfall movement on your things. So that's where this comes into play. And the only problem is that sometimes this will interfere with your waterfall also. So it's kind of a trade-off depending on how you wanna look at it. So let's go ahead, we are going to apply it. Let's go ahead and fold this. We have another hug situation going on. Now I'm putting this glue down, the tape down, but I'm not gonna glue it yet. What I wanna do is I'm gonna pull this all the way down and I can see how far my waterfall slides there. And what I wanna do is slide this in between, glue side up, tape side up rather. Slide that in and you have your folds. Okay, go ahead and fold those. 
and try to position it to where you can look at your crease lines and they are centered. And then when you fold this guy up, that's where you can push these inside, okay? So let's go ahead and take the paper backing off of this. We're going to pull this up, fold, hopefully you guys can see what's going on here, fold and fold. And then you wanna get another little piece of tape. Let's see, we're just gonna measure. Now, I like that this part isn't attached to anything but that does make it a little bit of a pain and a little bit confusing. So hopefully this explanation will help you um, or just leave it off altogether. You know, if this isn't something you're gonna flip back and forth all the time, then, then you really won't need it anyway. Okay. So now I have a little bit more security, but there's actually a part where um, and it, it doesn't, it seems to loosen up a little bit as, as it goes by, but there's a part that can eventually, when you're dragging your cards through, they can kind of get stuck on it. So that is why, uh, probably why it's left out of the other cards, but that is my waterfall card. Here we go. So you just open it up, you have your little fold out tab. Now some people prefer to do ribbon. Some people will put another mat here, which would be another cut of this and just put it right here. You could write sentiments, you could journal, anything you wanna do. And then you have your flip through pictures. A lot of people also do this on um, like for scrapbooking or memory keeping um, to where it's not a card. It's more of a, hey, flip through the pictures of this moment, so. Overall, I am very, very happy with how this turned out and uh, the file lined up really well. So I'm very happy with that. And there we go, that's what we have. And this is a waterfall card. So what did you think? I really, really like it. Probably has something to do that uh, I really like the pictures on the inside. But guys, I mean, this waterfall effect is just really, really cute. And uh, I can definitely see that I will be making quite a few of these to hand out. Think, I mean, think about it. This could even replace your Christmas card. All right, put in some photos in there from 2020. You know, you're feeling separated from your family. You know, <laughs> it is what it is, but just a really, really, really cute project. And I can't stress enough how much I love it. So. Um, of course, if you have any comments about what we've done, make sure you leave those below and also make sure that you subscribe to the channel because we have a lot of really great ideas for you right around the corner. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.